From BigHW.com, World Headquarters, Zephyrza Park, this is the Atari Report, 2600 edition, with Ray Jackson. Good evening, everybody. On this edition of the Atari Report, we take a look at a real nice rendition of a 1981 arcade bug blasting classic. Ladies and gentlemen, Centipede for the Atari 2600 video computer system. Yes, indeed, and what a way to kick off our season premiere of our second year of the Atari Reports than with this 1982 bug blaster of a classic centipede for the Atari 2600 video computer system. Currently on this particular play right here, I happen to be using an Atari CX80 trackball controller with her, and the response to her trackball control is pretty good, I gotta tell you. But it's very important if you use the CX80 or CX22 to have it set in the joystick mode or JS mode as opposed to the trackball mode so that that way you get the proper response for this particular uh, controller here with this game. As you can tell, much like all centipede ports, you have to um, you have to uh, blast those bugs into oblivion and things like that. And yes, you've got to put up with those spiders as well. And uh, yeah, whoa, that was close. But the closer you hit it, it's worth more points, obviously, as everyone knows about Centipede and Millipede and others like that. But, uh, yes, this game is pretty good. I mean, the, you know, for 1982, considering the 2600 back then, and how little they knew about uh, the potential capabilities like they do now, um, this is pretty good. i got to tell you, the graphics are right up there. They're, they're pretty well. They're pretty good. Uh, of course, you do have your fair share of flickering. We all know that. And uh, i got to tell you, this game is... A lot of fun to play, it doesn't matter what system you have and things like that, but um, as much as I grew up with the arcade version and the 5200 version when I was 17 years old and got that unit for my 17th birthday, um, basically uh, the 2600 version is pretty, pretty fun to play, I gotta say, and maybe the easiest of the ones to play as well, and uh, for whoever programmed it, probably one of the simplest versions of Centipede you can create, and she's pretty well, I gotta say, she plays pretty well. Like I said, I've hooked up a CFT trackball controller to her. Of course, she's pretty well controllable with the joystick. Now, I highly recommend the trackball, obviously. She can play it just like in the arcade. And um, I gotta tell you, this is a bug blasting classic that you must have if you own a multi cart like the Harmony Encore, like I have, which I'm playing through, or any other uh, you know, particular multi cart, or if you have the cartridge itself for the 2600. I highly recommend you try this out and play it. But if you can, go on eBay and get yourself a CX-22 or CX-80 trackball controller for the Atari uh, 2600. Because it, it really plays nice, i got to tell you. I mean, it's pretty good. And uh, this game is pretty good itself. True, the graphics could be better for uh, 2021 standards, but for 1982 they certainly work great. i got to tell you. Uh, if you can put up with the flickering uh, on this particular game, or, any, or hardly any uh, 2600 game like this, um, then you can stand this. I mean, i got to tell you, it's all great in things like that. Although they could have made the mushrooms out to be more like mushrooms rather than hyphens out there. But it'll work. Whatever works. i got to tell you, like I said, they knew little about the capacity, the potential of 2600 programs until much later on. But um, this, is a, this is a fun game to play. And well worth it. And uh, maybe not two thumbs up because of the graphics and things like that. It could be better a little bit. But the controls are fine. The play is fine. Really nice. Really nice. And i got to tell you, it was fun for me to play. And uh, it'll be fun pretty much for anybody to play. I mean, i got to tell you, this is an absolute classic. And um, highly recommend it for whatever system you happen to use that particular time. I got to tell you, well done. Well done. Well, guys, what do you think? I got to tell you, for 1982, it looks pretty good. Although it could be better by today's standards here in 2021. But for 1982, this was pretty good, I got to tell you. And even there were spots where my CX-80 trackball controller was pretty good. Um, I got to tell you, this is highly recommended if you have a 2600 video computer system. And indeed, it's one of those you should not pass up, especially if you happen to own a trackball, either the CX-22 or the CX-80. It may not be the 5200 version or even the arcade version, but I got to tell you, 
It's looked pretty good for the uh, 2600 back in 1982. Of course, you never know what they could do with Centipede now with these days. Who knows? Maybe somebody at Atari H.com will come up with Centipede Arcade. And I can't wait to see that. And I'll be one of the first to play it and review it right here on the Atari Report. But overall, I gotta tell you, it's pretty good. I gotta tell you. Maybe not two thumbs up. But one to three quarters most certainly will do, yes. But I gotta tell you, for 1982, it certainly is damn good. Well, that's game over for this edition of the Atari Report. So for all of us here at BigHMW.com World Headquarters, I'm Ray Jackson wishing you good gaming and good night.